So this here, as you can see, is a tumor it's at the base of the penis. It's a venereal disease in dogs called TVT, transmissible venereal tumor. And it's actually the only known sexually transmitted cancer. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment if you have seen this before, and even if you haven't, leave a question in the comments. So there we're going to talk about TVT. TVT is actually common in the stray dog population in tropical regions. TVT means transmissible venereal tumor, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a cancer transmitted from sexual contact from dog to dog. It can also be transmitted sometime from direct contact, but that is rather rare. Since it's transmitted from sexual contact, one of the best preventatives for TVT would be spay and neutering. However, this does not always work, as you can see here. This dog was castrated as a pup. by another veterinarian, not me. <laughs> and it ended up with TVT. So it's a mystery how it got this tumor since it was not ever in the breeding population. So okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritties. How do we tumor. diagnose, recognize, and treat TVT? In male dogs, TVT is normally a fleshy growth at the base of the penis. Now you will have to exteriorize the penis to see this. Most times the dog had to be sedated. You will take a smear, a direct smear or even a sample for the lab and under the microscope you will see these wrong cell tumors with what looks like bubbles inside of them and that will be diagnostic for TVT. If you do not have a microscope and it's an intact male dog who has this fleshy tumor at the base of the penis, you can 90 to 100 percent accuracy determined the dog has tvt especially in intact male dogs that was exposed to the breeding population it, advanced form of tvt can move on to other organs and is normally treated with chemotherapy sterilization and sometimes surgical debulking of the tumors themselves